Okay, got the four sheets uh, applied today. Uh, there they are. Yeah, quite a significant saving on the uh, on the others. One thing I will say though is they're not as clean. Edges aren't as tidy as the ones I had from Robin's Timber. So maybe it takes you money. I mean, I can't complain with the price, but uh, you know, you can see they are nowhere near as clean as the ones that, I mean, the one, these were absolutely spotless. So hey ho, one thing about these, they're not cut down. I have got a circular saw, but it's up in storage. So I've just uh, clamped that uh, piece of wood there and that's sort of giving me a guide then for the jigsaw. To be fair, it'll take me a couple of minutes to go down there with that and the, the storage units uh, be half hour round trip. So let's get these cut or get this one cut and I can get that up there. So all I need, that, that is a fairly rough edge, but it's going to be up there anyway. And This one's got a This one's got a portal to be put in it.
press solid. Yeah, you can see what I was talking about here, look. Look down here. Quite dirty, really. Okay, yeah, they've all got to be sand, light sand and painted, but it's good. I've saved a lot of money, so. Uh, let's be on the wardrobe anyway. This one is. Turn that around. That is the better face. Well, as before, as before, I've got to just take some of these out so I can slot the wood behind. Uh, yeah, most of those actually, I think. Ended up nasty. <sighs> Luckily, it hasn't damaged that. I think it must have been just a bit of maybe a bit of breeze just blew through there. No harm done. Only one piece. Do we find it really? Definitely do we find it. I think these jobs on on your own are so awkward. Just just because of the lack of space really.
There's my alpha. Again, you can see, I don't know if you can tell. The close up, it's not cut out as far as it will be. Yep, talked about that before, I think. Boys, oh, it's time for coffee, is it? We have a better day today. It's quite dark down now, I should open the stern doors a bit. Um, uh, misty day today. Let's have a look down the boat, see what I've been up to. Yeah, bit of a pigsty. Just something about that in a minute. But yeah, it's coming on. Uh, just then, once I've cut this one, cut the porthole, then there's just two sheets to put up at the end and, and get the the stern uh, bulkhead done. A bit like, a bit like this one. Again, none of them are fixed in. They're just sitting there. Boy, right, coffee first, and then. Then I'll cut that semicircle. Pizza. Now we're about debris. Got a pizza oven on the front of there. Never seen it in operation, but I'm sure it has been. Oh, right. coffee. <laughs> Distracted by food. Not the first time. Foam behind that one. It's there. Not really hurting anything at the moment. Just a bit of foam behind that. in the way of me doing a copy of that so I'll have to work on this one so thirty one and thirty one so it's thirty one inches outside so yeah just to make a little note for myself that makes complete sense to me you can see that socket's moved a couple of times <laughs> that's socket, socket switch 
So now the same with this one. So same for this one from the center of the little, uh, center of the window to the outside of the light sw switch is 31. And we're seven inches high, so.
Well, it's a very frosty morning here at uh, Navabote Moonshine. Yeah, quite a hard frost last night. Uh, where am I? Yes, uh, <coughs> all plied all the way to the rear bulkhead. I've just got that one sheet to put on. Uh, there it is. I've got to rip. I've got to rip that down. Uh, yeah, it's looking alright. Yeah, I'd like to get some. Me and Fran were talking last night. We'd like to get some uh, undercoat on this ply before we go, uh, and and get the rest of the wood or at least oiled with one sort of one one coat, whatever whatever oiling it is. I don't know. So I th uh, we're running, we're seriously running out of time before we go away. But um, yeah, we're going to try to. I don't think, I don't think the wood will suffer while we're away. I mean, it is marine ply, and that is obviously, as you, some of you know, is uh, thermo wood. So it's not like it's going to rot away over a few month period. But uh, yeah, we'd like to, uh, we'd like to get some of that done if we can. So I think that'll be, I think that'll be next next week before we actually go off off. Uh, we'll spend a day. I think painting and oiling. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Painting and oiling to give everything just that little bit of, little bit of protection. Like I say, it, I don't think it needs it. I'm not sure. And and there's a few places where we still need to um, foam the top corners where where somebody, not me, uh, was a bit overzealous stripping the uh, insulation back. There's a few places. So I think I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to build, you know, like some, that spray foam just drops off. So I need to put something there to hold it up there while it's set in, so. But yeah, on the whole, I think we're, we're, we're pretty happy. It's, it's coming on, it's coming on, it's coming on leaps and bounds, really. The ply makes a massive difference. Uh, and I think once the ply is finished, which it, he ain't gonna be this year, once the ply is finished, um, I think the, the build will come on so fast then. One thing I've got a source, and I've, I have got the detail somewhere, is these window surrounds. Uh, these are cut far too small at the moment because I didn't know what window frames I was going for, so I'm gonna have to open all of those up so I can get those inserts to go in. But uh, I'll see if I have a look for those later. But yeah, you can see down here now, it's just, just those pieces, and it's probably, well, it's a good half a day, three quarter of a day's work there, I think, because they're quite fiddly, those back pieces, and I've got to batten that as well. But, um, yeah, I've had a bit of a tidy up, and I think another tidy up is due before we head off. Sort of thinking about winterising the boat a little bit. I've got to check the engine, make sure that antifreeze is at the right level, um, density. Uh, I want to make sure that the bilge pump is working okay. Um, Ah, that's a point as well. I need to put a charger on that starter battery. Or connect the charger off, one of the two. Uh, because if that bilge pump does come on, it will just flatten the battery anyway. There's no way of charging it, so uh, I need to look at that as well. So yeah, a few things next week to make sure that the boat's okay to leave for that, that extended period of time. Right, another day's ply lining. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how many hours that is. Um, yeah, my last piece is just there. I've just cut that nick to go over. So cut that off, rough cut the porthole, or even that way. Uh, and then that's 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 up there. Those two pieces on the back bulkhead to do. So yeah, it's all, uh, I said to you yesterday, it's all uh, coming out quite nicely. Right, best press on then. Oh yeah. Um, Hannah will be here soon uh, to start the sign writing, which is really exciting. So I'll probably, if Hannah is okay with that, um, probably film that or even ask Hannah to take over that for a while, uh, go through that process, what she does. And um, that might be quite of, in, quite of interest to some people. So um, yeah, we'll add that. I'm really looking forward to it. We've got the artwork already, it looks really good. So uh, yeah, Hannah will be here soon.
Ik ga deze rij proberen te doen.